Welcome back, everybody. It's your boy David from Mr. Pup Thing. Thank you guys for checking that out over here on YouTube. I cannot, you know, you guys won't believe how many times I've restarted this video. But <laughs> thank you for checking it out on YouTube. Or you follow us over there on Instagram at Mr. Pup Thing, T H A N G. Or check us out on Facebook at Fanatic Funko or It's a Pup Thing. Thank you guys for finding us wherever you find us on social media. I hope you guys are having a great Funko Pop Honey week. I finally got through it. <laughs> and don't forget to go check us out on Facebook and join our Facebook um, Funko Pop Life group uh we have a lot of new members coming in so if you're over there and you're just share your information don't be tripping because i ain't putting up with it but i'm not like some of the other groups like oh you gotta do this you gotta do this just come on in and just share the knowledge and show your love of the stuff that we have been obsessing about for a while now but uh, like i said it's saturday here i don't know if i said that or not but it's saturday so i hope you guys are having a great funko pop honey week I was happy when I came home after a very long, Larry, a very long shift. And so we're going to go over, we're not even doing a reveal. We're just going to, uh, well, no, surprise reveals. We're just going to show what we have and then we're going to open each box. Um, and it is the Gotcha Man. I almost said Battle for the Battle of the Planets, but it is Gotcha Man. If you guys can see, um, there you go. Uh, we're going to go through each one of those because I, this is my childhood right here. Well, kind of. And then we'll talk about that when we come back. Battle of the Planets. G-Force, five incredible young people with superpowers. And watching over them from Center Neptune, Seven Zark Seven. Watching, warning against surprise attack by alien galaxies from beyond space. Young orphans protecting Earth's entire galaxy. Always five, acting as one. Dedicated, inseparable, invincible. I guess when you're tired, you hit the, the, the camera and the rain light and all that stuff. I am tired, but I'm glad to be making another video. Sorry, they're kind of sporadic because, like I've said a thousand times, um, work is insane. But like I said, I hope you guys are doing well, and I hope you guys have found the pops you got you are, you guys are looking for um, this week. Whether you find them in store, buy them online, find them on whatnot or whatever, people hitting it. Um, I hope you guys are finding the ones you want. But today we are talking. Oh, this has a tear on it. Oh, I'm so mad. Look at that. Uh, it's only one. One had a bad, wow. You know what I just noticed? Funko is now putting a little Funko logo right there. Is that on all the new ones? Yes, it is. We got this today in the mail too, but we're gonna talk about that when we get our Jokers in on um, Monday, I think, they come from Amazon. Anyhow, so back to Gotcha, man. These are, I, I, am, I, am I saying that? I got you, man. Uh, yeah, got you, man. Got you, man. So I didn't know that um, that was called. As a kid in the 70s, this came out in 1978 at, for the American adaptation of the ja Japanese anime Gotcha, man. It was called Battle of the Fl Planets, and they called, them, called it G-Force. Uh, again, <laughs> looking back, I'm like, I didn't know anything what the hell it was going on? I just thought it was cool because they were birds and the the plane um, turned into um, a phoenix. And, you know, once it turned into a phoenix, it was all over. But but anyhow, so this is, a, it was made by, the original was Tatsuo Yoshida who made this. And I don't want to give y'all a history lesson, but I thought it was kind of cool. And I found some stuff that I wanted to talk about because, um, I, again, I didn't know as much as I know now when I seen it. I'm like, gotcha. When, when they first read it, I'm like, gotcha, man. That ain't gotcha, man. That's G-Force. Wrong. Silly American. 
Um, so there was Mark, Jason, Princess, Kiop, and Tiny Harper. And and they only have the three. So maybe we'll get uh, Kia, Pee Wee, and Tiny Harper, Hooty Hoot Owl. Maybe we'll get those in like a convention exclusive because I don't know how well these would do. I know this is anime is a really, really good one. I've never watched it. Only thing I've ever watched was Battle of Planets. And that was, God, 78. That was 40, almost 50 years ago. 40, 40 years ago. God, this is old. And um, I know uh, Brian is a fan of Anime One, and he's a fan of the kind of that that 70s, 80s uh, animation yeah, that a lot of uh, Hanna Barbera did. This is not by Hanna Bar Bar Barbera, but um, he's a fan of that. But we're gonna go through all of these um, because I think they're cool. So this is these are based on Gotcha Man from what I'm looking for. Uh, looking at because the names are a little different because per the titles, like this is Ken the Eagle. Um, that is from the Harmony Gold dub. So, and they've been called different things. G-Force, um, he would be called Ace Goodheart. And he had the plane. Hopefully I've had some good video images from the my G-Force um, from my childhood. Uh, his name is Mark. What? No, that, how is that possible? Wait a minute. Ken Washio from Gotcha Man. Yeah, and his name is Mark. And they called him Ace Goodheart. Battle of the Planets, he was called Mark. And then he's Ken the Eagle, because his name is Ken. Why the name of Mark? Uh, <laughs> you know, I'm not even going to go there. It, it's because I was going to say some, something that might be a little offensive, but um, y'all know what I was thinking. But anyhow, we're going to open all of these and look at all of the... Gotcha Man, aka G Force Pops. Didn't think they was gonna do the, do these, but I'm glad they did because again, these are ones that I will really keep forever because these are really cool. So there is Mark <laughs> Ace Goodheart from G, from G, G Force. Can't pronounce it. Gotcha Man Ken Washio. But you know, um, Japanese and Asian culture loved. America at that time and uh, a lot of their imagery was of of um, white men and women um, back in the 70s but look at that ah th this is a really uh, such a good cool pop so if they extend this line they can do all their rides and then they could do I mean maybe they can maybe the, the airplane uh, they can do that um, so many things they can do with this line, but yeah, they can do action poses, some glow in the dark maybe, but this is just, this is just dope. And I love everything about this, everything about it, everything about it. Oh, that is so cool. I love that. So I'm out, not that I have time <laughs> to look at the Gotcha Man comics, but at some point, I do want to look at those again. So next we'll go to Joe because he was like the second in command. Joe the Condor. Um, oh, I didn't do the back of the box. There's the back of the three that's on there. I'm surprised they didn't do the girl. I bet we get all. The, oh yeah, no, they did the girl. The other two, I bet we get those in a convention. Maybe um, New York Comic Con. So those, those are those. Those that. Never mind. There's the three that, that are from this first wave. And this one has a tear on the box, which it really doesn't matter because I'm not, I'm not, I won't be selling these or anything. These are for, for me. And I didn't like Joe growing up because he was like kind of mean and stoic, but um, he has a little gun for his um, weapon. The other one was like, was like a little eagle bo boomerang. And they all flew with these wings. I remember in the back, they were split to look more like wings on the, um, animation but just look at that um the little bird that, that is just that is so amazing to me very very cool he got some eyebrows look at them eyebrows they all got some snatched eyebrows but yeah so that is joe george joe asakura his name was jason on g on battle of the planets dirk daring in g-force and then gotcha man oh 
Gotcha, man. He was. He had a race car for his little um, ride. And in Gotcha, man, he was. Come on now. Oh, gotcha, man. He was. Oh, George Joe Kasu. Joe Asu. Asakura. So, Jason for you, G Force. People of a particular age. <laughs> Uh, that's what his name was to me. Again, I don't remember much about the show. I just thought it was cool because they had those planes and they was birds and they had them really, really cool. I didn't understand why Tiny, was it Tiny or Kia, Pee Wee, why he didn't talk. I never understood why he didn't have, he couldn't talk. It was really weird. But they was always rushing out to do something. Oh, and then the last one is going to be June the Swan, which would be Princess for Battle of the Planets. Um, G4, she was Agatha Aggie June. And uh, she had, what is she? She rode a motorcycle. Yeah, she had a motorcycle. And then she had, I don't know what her weapons were. Can't really tell what that was. Maybe, I don't know. But there is Princess June the Swan. And why they put all the girl characters in all Japanese animation, for me, this is me, because I don't know a lot about it, in pink. Like Power Rangers, the girls in pink, you know, I think, and uh, Voltron, the girls in pink. But um, she probably needs to stand. Yeah, she does need to stand. But again, her beak is not as profound. I wonder what, well, so she's a swan. She So a condor, an eagle, and a swan. Are swans tough? They're pretty, but are they tough? And maybe that's why they made this one, but these are gorgeous pops. They did a really, really good job on these. I like the two-tone capes, which they've been doing that a lot here recently. And there, you can kind of see the, the swan imagery on that. But yeah, love these. Just, yeah, th these are gonna be a favorite of mine for a very long time. I don't know how well they'll do um, retail-wise, um, but for me, if they extend the line, I will have all of these because these are pretty, pretty, pretty cool. So there's your three: Joe the Condor, June the Swan, and Ken the Ink and Ken the Eagle, and a little bit, a little bit of history about G Force um, versus Gotcha Man, Battle of Planets. Um, anyhow, tell me in the comments below: Did you ever watch Gotcha Man? If you're a particular age like I am, did you see the original G Force? Have you went back and seen the G Force? Which one is your favorite pop? I say if I had one, it would probably be. You always go with the, the, the team captain. We'll go with uh, Ken the Eagle. Anyhow, don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and we're gonna see you in the next one.